it. I had an idea, and if you're like me, whenever you get these kinds of ideas, you cannot concentrate on anything else at all. It just torments you. So Fiona and I are heading off to the North Coast this weekend. About 20 minutes away from the Dark Edges and 20 minutes away from a wee town called Garva. In Garva, there is a forest park and in that forest park, there's a pyramid. So what I want to do is get the drone flying above the pyramid with these loom cubes attached. I'm gonna just leave it hovering above it. I get Fiona to stand right beside the pyramid while the drone is up and I'm gonna take some photos. There are some people on this earth that believe that pyramids were used for communicating with aliens uh, or aliens built them or some shit. So I wanna make this look as alien as I possibly can. Uh, who knows, it's Northern Ireland. We're gonna get some shit weather, but that's to be expected. Sure, we'll see what happens. Raining, but we're gonna go and have a look. I don't know whether this is gonna work because the weather is awful. But we'll wing it and see. actually made it. It's uh, looking pretty good today. Fiona's <laughs> making faces at me. Right, so we've actually made it. It's sunny but it's windy but it's looking pretty good. Um, there's a good bit of an opening up there for the drone to fly. I just have to hope this wind dies down it's supposed to. So. Fingers crossed it does. We'll give it a go. Who knows whether this is gonna work. So supposedly Lord Garva loved his pyramids and said that he wanted to be buried in one. Uh, so much so that he built his own. The problem with that is he never actually got to be buried in it. It's quite sad. Imagine going to that effort of building this and then someone just forgot and stuck you in a hole somewhere. Probably. I don't know whether that happened. But that must be pretty annoying. Right, we're gonna go home because we're pretty tired. We've been walking for like three hours. But um wait is that the car over there? Do we just walk all that way for nothing? What's that? Yeah, well, hopefully that means it's gonna be empty. And we're back at my time. So there's the National Geographic bit. Fiona's up there, straight ahead. Let's see where it's pitch black. Um, there is not even a breeze, which is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, we're just gonna have to hope for the best. There's no gusts and we'll give it a go. We'll get the shot quickly, get back for dinner. And yeah, mission complete. Yeah, I'm probably gonna shoot from about here. You can't see much here, but whenever I get the drone up, lighting this whole place up, it's gonna look insane. I, am, I can't wait to do this. Right, let's get this done.
there, right? Alright, let's get this done. some food. Yep. Yum Great. yum. I didn't have much time to tell you what I was actually doing up there. Um, just for fear of people people coming and asking me what I'm doing because it's a bit of a weird thing to explain to people. There was quite, it wasn't a great gap, it was quite a small wee gap. Um, but made it through and put the drone on the tripod mode which completely steadies it. Uh, well, that's what it should do in theory, but it was making quite a wee bit of noise. There was a wee bit of a gust. It must have been up just in the top of the trees. Persevered and it stayed still enough. Didn't hit anything after that first wee blip. So it did hit the first set of leaves, which it wasn't great, but it fell down and it actually worked out all right. Yeah, we're packing up now and we're going home. Away home to get some food because I'm absolutely starving. So I'm back home. I'm having a look through the photos and I'm gonna print out one in particular that I, I just love. Um, I think that's kind of what I love about photography the most. It's being able to visualize something in your head and working out how the hell you're gonna create that in real life. Like. I've seen this place being photographed quite a bit online and I just thought I want to do something different. I want to try and do something a bit crazy and that's what I set out to do. And now that it's all done I need to print it out and see how it looks. It's such a vital part of photography is printing out the photo and really looking at the detail and I just love it. 